Donald Trump meets Philippine President Duterte as ASEAN summit kicks off in Manila. U.S. President Trump has said he has a great relationship with Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte as the two met at a regional summit in Manila. The meeting got off to a rocky start with a group handshake gone awry. U.S. President Donald Trump praised Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday after the two met on the sidelines of an international summit in Manila. Read more, Thriller in Manila, Trouble as Donald Trump meets Trump of the East Trump told reporters that he and Duterte have a great relationship and that he appreciated the Philippines for staging the Leaders' Summit of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN. The White House and Duterte spokesman gave conflicting accounts on whether the two discussed human rights issues in the meeting. Human rights briefly came up in the context of the Philippines' fight against illegal drugs, said White House spokeswoman, Sarah Sanders. She added that the two also discussed the fight against the so-called Islamic State, IS, and narcotics. However, Duterte's spokesman said that Trump did not raise any human rights concerns during the 40-minute meeting. The Philippine leader explained his anti-drug policy at length to Trump who seemed to be appreciative of his efforts, spokesman Harry Roque said. Duterte has been criticized internationally for his war on drugs in which thousands of people have been killed, some of whom in extrajudicial killings. Trump has previously praised Duterte for his handling of the Philippines' drug problems. The opening ceremonies for the ASEAN conference began with elaborate pageantry featuring the leaders of ten member association. Read more. Why is the United States interested in the Indo-Pacific? Trump fumbled when it came to a carefully choreographed group photo with ASEAN leaders. The leaders were supposed to cross their arms to shake the hands of those standing next to them. The instructions appeared to briefly confuse the U.S. president, who used both of his hands to clasp the outstretched hand of Vietnam Prime Minister Nguyen Duan Phuc leaving Dutter with a spare hand. Trump then laughed when he realized his error, grimacing as he reached to shake